Every Sunday afternoon, they get on the stick and have a ball. This dedicated lineup of rollerbladers get in line for a little inline hockey. We've had a consistent number of people that play. Uh, there's, I don't know, about eight, ten that usually play. They've got the basic equipment to get rolling. So of course, your rollerblades. Uh, I would say knee and shin guards are probably the number one. Uh, you need a stick and a ball and then a helmet and gloves. So not as much gear here compared to ice hockey, but that's not the only difference. In roller hockey, there's no offsides in the sense that there's no blue lines. Uh, the blue, and uh, the offsides line is the center line. And there's four skaters instead of five. Out here, we don't dress as like, like you would play in ice hockey. So we don't wear shoulder pads and stuff because we don't check. You can't like ram into people like, like you do in the pros. Like people see on television, guys running each other over. So, But we do run over each other every once in a while out here. Now this is what the inliners use when they don't have a goalie. But seeing as how I'm here, I'm going to volunteer to be the goalie. Because you see, I'm an old jock myself. And you, uh, no, I don't need any equipment whatsoever. I don't need that. I'm such a jock. All right, let's go, guys. Come on. Oh. Maybe not. I can get rough sometimes, and we lose our cool sometimes with each other. But yeah, we but we we'll just shake it off. Now, if you dive off the ball, you'll you know you can skin stuff up. But the shin guards will mostly protect you from any of that. They call me the mucker. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's a street rash. That's a street rash there. But even through all that duct tape, it's worth it when that ball goes into the net. Well, that's a pretty good feeling. <laughs> doesn't happen much to me. <laughs> and it doesn't happen much if goalie Luke Adams has anything to save about it. Despite being only 12, he'll stick to it with inliners over twice his age. It was kind of hard at first, but you get used to it and you get better. It's just keep your eye on the puck. Just like baseball, you got to keep your eye on the ball, so just keep your eye on the puck. And just keep your eye on the future of this sport. Young and old blade runners alike say it may be inline hockey's time to shine. Inline skating is great for a while, but then what are you going to do with it? So you give the kid a stick and a ball and he picks up hockey and they find out that hockey is a great sport. That's, I just love hockey. That's probably the main reason. I, when I watched the 80 Olympics and saw the U.S. beat the Russians, I guess that's when I fell in love with it. And just like that Olympic team, these inliners hope to skate into a league of their own. In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Johnson City.